I want to define the best USB-C power delivery charging hub for my MacBook Pro M1 Max. And if you don't want to watch the whole video, this is it. It's made by SlimQ. It's awesome. It covers all your bases. That out of the way, if you have a MacBook Pro M1 Max or an M2 Max, you're probably looking for a better charger than the one that comes from Apple because the one that comes from Apple is really, really big. It has one USB-C power delivery port out. And a side note about USB-C power delivery, you can only take advantage of that 140 watts over the MagSafe port because the Thunderbolt ports of the laptop do not accept more than 100 watts. I have been using it plugged in via Thunderbolt 100 watts. It's been fine, but that's just for your information. Now, I went hunting to find the best hub. Which hub was going to fulfill all of my needs? And I kind of set out a couple of rules or a couple of guidelines when searching for hubs. The first one is that all of these chargers had to be portable and they all had to be gallium nitride. The second kind of guideline for this was that all of these chargers needed to have more than one USB port. Because in the real world, we often have more than one device that needs charging. Now, these two caveats immediately removed kind of the incumbent favorite anchor from the equation as their 140 watt charger has one port and their other 150 watt charger only does 100 watts, watts max out of the port. After searching far and wide across Amazon, AliExpress, and other online retailers, I found a few contestants. I reached out to them and all of these companies supplied me with chargers for this comparison. Um, but as you guys know, I like to keep it real with you guys. No money changed hands and they're not getting any kind of editorial over, overview of this video. The first contestant here was the Slim Q 150W 3C1A, which is a mouthful and it's a horrible name for a great product. Now, I thought that this was going to be the complete package and it's also the cheapest. The next one on this was from a company called VoltMe. Uh, VoltMe had reached out to me in the past. I had no reason to test any of their products as I couldn't utilize any of their products, but VoltMe makes their Revo 140, which is a 140 watt capable charger. And it's basically the same size as the one from SlimQ. The charger from VoltMe comes in at a slightly more expensive price point, um, but it is around the same price and all of these are between 80 and like $110. Now, Ugreen, Ugreen, as you guys know, is one of my favorite brands to work with. I've reviewed a bunch of their stuff here. I use a Ugreen charger every single day to charge my phone. And I was like, whoa, you guys make what kind of looks to be the perfect product. They ended up sending me the wrong product by mistake. Well, they sent me two of them, but hold on. The first one that they sent me was this, their Nexode 300 watt desktop charger. I'll talk about this a little bit later in the video. The other charger that they sent me was their GAN X100. This is a 100 watt charger that I've actually reviewed before. They do make a 140 watt version of this and I'm gonna speak about the 140 watt version because from all of the research that I've done, this is about the same size, about the same weight, uh, and it's pretty close in price to their 140 watt one. I'm gonna be covering the specs of their 140 watt charger, but you'll see me reference this one as just kind of a placeholder, just because I like their products, I've had great experiences with their products, and they come in at a awesome price point. Now, one of the most important aspects of this test for me was weight. Now, the Slim Q charger comes in at 305 grams. It is the heaviest in the test. That's because of the build quality. It feels like the outside of this is made of metal. It's really, really dense and like kind of sturdy feeling. Now, the next one on this list is the VoltMe Revo 140. And the VoltMe Revo 140 is a really, really nice feeling uh, charger. It's got a cool little LED indicator light to show you that you have electricity when you're being plugged in. But this is just kind of 
basic, but it doesn't feel cheap or chintzy. The U-Green charger, the 140 watt U-Green charger is 300 grams. So that kind of fits right in the middle between VoltMe and SlimQ. And from my experience with their 100 watt charger, um, it feels a lot denser. Here, I'll unwrap it for you guys. It feels a lot denser and it's actually physically slightly smaller in size to the VoltMe, although um, it's not that much smaller, but the VoltMe and the SlimQ are more or less the same size. And the 140 watt U-Green one is a little bit bigger than their 100 watt one, meaning all of these chargers are basically the same size and they're all within 10 to 15 grams or half an ounce of each other. So size and weight wise, all of them are going to be in the same ballpark. There isn't that big of a difference. Build quality, without a doubt, the best feeling one is the Slim Q. I would say that the second best feeling one is actually the U-Green. This 100 watt charger from them feels absolutely phenomenal. Feels less hollow and a little bit denser than the VoltMe one does. I'm not gonna take these apart to test them, but when you squeeze the outside of the VoltMe, there's a little bit of distortion or di Distortion, yeah, in the out uh, in the exterior shell of it. Again, it doesn't feel cheap, but if I'm gonna squeeze all of these chargers, I'll tell you which one feels the cheapest when I squeeze it. Next up, I wanna cover what the performance of these chargers are. So the top port of the VoltMe will do 140 watt max. That's it. If you're using both USB type C ports, VoltMe will give you 65 watts over both of these ports. If you're using the top port or if you're using the uh, either of the USB-C ports and the USB-A port, then you're going to be stuck with 100 watts and then 22 and a half watts. Meaning even if you are charging like a pair of headphones over USB-A, you're still only gonna get 100 watts out over the 140 watt USB-C port. That means that the performance of this is kind of towards the bottom. The U-Green 140 watt hub is really, really nice as, it, as that it will give you 65 watts if you're using both of the USB-C ports, but you can get 100 watts out of the main USB-C port and 22 and a half watts of the, out of the USB-A port. And if all of the ports of the U-Green are being used, it will give you 65 over the first USB-C, 45 over the second USB-C, and 22 and a half over the USB-A port. That means that the winner of all this is actually the Slim Q. The Slim Q will do 140 watts over the first two USB-C ports. The third port will do 100 watts and uh, the USB-A port will do a max of 18 watts. But the awesome thing about the Slim Q is that Either of those two top USB-C ports will do 140 watts out. And if you are using uh, the top two ports of it, it will give you uh, 100 watts and then 45 watts so that you can actually charge something like a MacBook Pro M1 or a MacBook Pro M1 Pro over one USB-C port and then charge a MacBook Pro M1 Max over the other one, but basically the Slim Q gives you kind of the best options with it. And ultimately, I think that the, the Slim Q one actually has the most versatility for being able to kind of go into an office environment and charge multiple people's devices at one time. Uh, the Slim Q is definitely the winner. The next thing I wanted to cover with these was kind of extra features. That said, there's no extra features with the U-Green charger. There's no extra features with the VoltMe charger. The only charger in this kind of roundup that has any kind of extra features is the Slim Q. The Slim Q will give you, in the box, they give you an extension cord that interfaces with the uh, two prongs out for your charger. That means that you can go ahead and use an integrated extension cable, similar to how Apple did it with some of their old laptops or how Apple does it now, where you can just slide an extension cable over the two prong port out and you can go ahead and use a shorter USB-C to USB-C cable. Or if you want to have the charging brick on your desk, you can do that and use just like the normal wall plug-in at the wall. Uh, that's great. Another 
awesome feature that I absolutely love about the Slim Q as someone that travels and has lived overseas and I have family overseas, uh, is the fact that in the box of the Slim Q charger, you have a bunch of travel adapters and the travel adapters work with the wall extension plug as well as the charging brick. And I think that this is just kind of a game changer in this entire roundup of chargers uh, simply because when you're charging a bunch of stuff at one time, you might want to have access to it, or you might not want to travel with a bunch of two meter long USB-C to type C cables or a bunch of really, really long USB-A to USB-C cables. That means that you can use this little extension cable to plug it into the wall and then have all of your devices safely on your desk along with the charging brick. Another huge advantage to this is that all of these chargers are pretty heavy. And that means that if you go somewhere where the wall outlets aren't new or they're not fresh and they don't really hold it in place, the weight of the charging brick means that you're constantly fighting with plugging the brick in, the brick falls out, you plug it in, the brick falls out. With this extension cord, you don't have to worry about that. And I think that that's a Fantastic touch. I, I, I've i never been like more amped to talk about chargers because I feel like in this comparison, Slim Q is trying to think of all of the needs that you might have and all of the difficulties you might have when charging on the go or having old power outlets or being overseas and not wanting to bring a bunch of a travel adapters so that you can go ahead and like get stuff done. So if you're looking for the best travel adapter for your MacBook Pro M1 Max Slim Q, by far and away, an awesome product. Now this is a big boy charger. This is great for like an office environment is it will give you 140 watts out over the top or it will give you 100 watts out over each of the other USB type C ports. And the power configurations from this are too long for me to list, but this is a big hefty desktop charger. I think that this would be great for an office environment, for a studio environment where we have a lot of camera accessories, lights and whatnot that can charge over USB-C power delivery. And the fact that you can basically leave this stationary, have a bunch of cables plugged into it and know that no matter what USB-C cable you're plugging in, you're probably gonna get around 100 watts or 65 watts, really simplifies that overall process because things such as uh, my DJI Ronin gimbal, which I'm motioning to, which is in here right now, some of my lights, those will charge with higher wattage USB-C power delivery chargers. The same thing with drones. If you're looking for a uh, drone battery hub to charge your DJI Mavic Mini or some of the other DJI uh, drones that they have now that are compatible with USB-C power delivery, that means that this hub is great overkill for that. In fact, most of these hubs would, but I know that the DJI drones will accept 100 watts USB-C power delivery. I want to thank all of the companies that sent these to me for review. I think that the space right now for USB-C power delivery charging hubs is getting really competitive and it really makes companies like Slim Q that go above and out of the way to bring products that have a little bit of innovation, better build quality and more thoughtful design. It really, really means that kind of products like these kind of stand out among the rest. I'll leave links to where you guys can buy all this. And until next time, it's been Mitchell.